Hi guys, and welcome to Norma Fox's epic Roblox jailbreak garbage tutorial. Uh, today I'll be teaching you how to rob the cargo ship. It's actually really easy. All you really need is just a helicopter. First, we need to demonstrate some concepts. This will help us in our robbery. So every single helicopter comes with a rope. You just hit the G key, or if you're on mobile, just the rope button, and then your helicopter will dispense a rope. You can use the rope to collect people and bring them back into your helicopter, or, even cooler, you can use them to pick up vehicles. With your vehicle picked up, you can basically take it wherever you want, and then hit G to drop it. Whee! Score. However, if someone's in the vehicle, it just takes a bit longer, but, well, that doesn't really apply today. So we're going to be using the pickup principle to pick up the cargo crates. So essentially, the goal of the cargo ship robbery is to pick up a crate from the ship, drive it back here to the harbor, and just drop it into the hole. And you basically get a lot of money. The cargo ship is by far the most profitable robbery to complete in this entire game. It's the easiest to do, and it's worth it. Besides the tomb, this is the best robbery. The cargo ship will spawn next to the museum, right about here. It will slowly come into the map and circle around the island, past the airport, past the secure prison, and then float off the map. Its arrival is typically signaled by its horn blasts, and its exit is also announced with its horn. So what we're going to do is just wait until the cargo ship enters, and then we'll proceed with the tutorial. So what we're going to do is we're going to immediately start heading towards the museum. And as you can see right there, the cargo ship is just waiting for us. We still got time until it actually comes onto the map. So if you're completing a different robbery, you have plenty of time to get another helicopter if you lost one. But as you can see, the border ends like right about there, and the cargo train is clearly off the border. Well, you can rob it now, but if the cargo ship shoots you down, it'll just fall straight into the void. The cargo ship is armed with two missile launchers, one and two. These things are your biggest obstacle in this entire operation. They typically shoot in straight lines, so if you're standing still, you're basically screwed. So what you want to do is just keep zigzagging. First, you want to deploy your rope, get to a low altitude, and then head diagonally towards it. Remember, your goal is to grab one of those cargo containers. Just keep moving and just go... Do not stay standing still, and uh-oh. Our crate just glitched out. If your crate does that, it's basically a lost cause. You can just drop it. If it lands in the water, it'll just instantly despawn. But don't don't worry. If you can always do this again. So you just go in. Got it. And then you want to bring it to the cargo um, cargo dock. And then you just want to drop it straight into that weird dark void. Just position your helicopter right on top of it. If you drop it onto the ground, don't worry, it'll still be there. You can just re-pick it up. Oh, <laughs> it got stuck. Pick it up, drop it again, and look at that. 5700 You can make anywhere from 5700 to $8,000 per crate, and then you can just rob it again. You can only rob the cargo ship two times, so just try to make the most of it. Oh, shoot. Uh, that's not good. Oh dear, what just happened? <laughs> and we'll go again. Let's try it one more time. Got it. Take that up and to that weird black void. And just take it down and just drop it. Oh, it missed again. Go back to retrieve our crate. <sighs> or container. STOP! There we go. And then you just... Miss again. This is stupid. Then you... Drop it in and you make... Another $550. $5,500. So our total for this robbery is... 10700 and that's quite a hefty amount in jailbreak. And just like that, after the final two, the ship is going to disappear once it's off the map. But generally, once it spawns, you have plenty of time to rob from it. 
Although once it passes the high security prison, it's not worth it. I hope this tutorial was educational and helpful. Yeah, I guess that's what a tutorial is supposed to be. Educational and helpful. Mwah, and goodbye.